I am Cynthia for Arby's Cafe and Sherry with me today. Hi Cynthia. Hi Sherry. We're super happy today. We are. To show some new uh, CBD blends that we made. Beautiful new blends. Yeah. yeah. And we have fun making those yeah, really. We do. really. <laughs> <laughs> so we put together um, the blends with some seed beads like that you can see what kind of colors uh, goes together mm -hmm. and match and uh, that's fun also to yes, do yes. so let's start with the blues everyone loves blues right? right so here we have a very pretty blues and um, i love that you have kind of two colors of blue a light mm. one that is matte and then a shiny darker blue goes really well with the gray slump beads or the matte um, check glass and also this other um, gray and probably I think it's Isn't gorgeous. Sweet? Yes, and Beautiful. what I did with that blend, I made two e rings, and one where I separated the colors and did those little flowers. I think it's really cute, and another one, and I just like to put all the beads together. Mix them up. Yeah. Yes, those okay. rings are Beautiful. They're so easy to make. Good. And then Go they pretty feel quick. Good. Yes, Yay. they feel good on your on your finger. They do. They're so wearable. They're just comfortable. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Here another beautiful blue. Love these Isn't dark gorgeous? colors. Yeah. Yes, and you added some beads. I have kind of have a, a hint of bronze or pink inside. Just a little bit. Yeah, it flashes a little bit of color here and there. Beautiful. Um, which then you can pick up on those with your other beads, like mm -hmm. that copper and the light, um, right. the light pearls. I think be beautiful with that. And look how it goes really well with this majestic uh, blue Swarovski crystal. Gorgeous, gorgeous, Isn't it gorgeous. I can see some embroidery yeah. around that with that CB blend. Uh, silver always mm -hmm. goes well with any blues. Mm -hmm. um, but I thought, um, let's go a little to contrast a little mm -hmm. more. Look at this gray slump for beads with the frog. goes su super well with this It's those beautiful. Yeah. And it's really beautiful. Here we have a green. Sherry, I love that green. Isn't that the sweetest springy bright green? Oh, I yes. just love it. It's just um, so soft and yeah. yet bright, and and then with the colors that we have there, the the fall colors, mm -hmm. the coppers and the oranges, and that tiger. I know <laughs> it's like perfect, perfect match. <clears throat> a little bit of moss green mixed in there. I yes. love that. And it goes really well with the uh, uh, crystal uh, lime shiny. Mm -hmm. So it's it beautiful. I mean that green is. It feels yummy to it me. Does. <laughs> it does. <laughs> and it goes with so many colors. That's why I love it. Um, here, um, I love that blend. I did kind of a mix of um, dark purple and then a little lavender and then a little khaki. Mm -hmm. um, it's a blend that I don't know why. It, those bits really spoke to me. Right. And yeah, there's a beautiful teal in there too. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And it gives I. It a um, contrast. Mm -hmm. Very beautiful, and I think it goes really well with um, some um, brass colors or a little bronze and some topaz and all of the, those uh, purple. I think it goes beautiful. really well. Beautiful. Yes. Uh, talking about purple, we have mm -hmm. here a pretty blend too. Purple to pinks. Yes, yeah, that's, that's true. Beautiful. That's true. It goes so well with that beautiful uh, pendant. Pe peacock. He is gorgeous with that. Yes, but if you want to have uh, some colors that kind of um, group together, you can add some little um, lighter pink. I think that goes really well with. It really the does. Th there's a shiny pink in there that's just, um, that light pink just pulls it out. Right. Um, it really shows off. Otherwise, yeah. I don't know if you see it as much, but then when you put that pink there, it's like, oh, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. So pretty. Yes. Here, Sherry, you made a, a stronger pink. Mm -hmm. Love it too. Yeah, definitely a, a real vivid fuchsia mm -hmm. pink. There's a little darker, darker pink in there as well, and which I think allows it to, to mix with things nicely. Right. It's right. really pretty with the bronze that you have there, that little bit of orangey pink, and, um, and then just the soft pink. Yeah, yeah pretty. Yes. <laughs> I love this one too. You did a mix of lavender and uh, purple. Right, so the, the, there's a real soft lavender in there that is mm -hmm. very close to that um, shiny lilac um, crystal. And then that deeper, um, but kind of muted.
muted purple in there. Right. I think it's so pretty with the, the darker purples and the bronze. Mm -hmm. And then um, we've got that little pop of green up there with it, which I think is really, really fun for contrast. It is really pretty. Um, then we have this um, beautiful gray, and uh, it's actually a mix of silver and kind of a, a hint of blues and uh, some transparent beads. Mm -hmm. They mix together. I was so amazed about that blend. Um, you know, we grab beads, mm -hmm. but then when you mix together, it, it gives right. another uh, something else. That's the magic part. Yes, yeah. and I really love this one. It goes Beautiful. really well with those teardrop. Beautiful check teardrop. Mm -hmm goes really well with the new Swarovski. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Gorgeous dove gray. Dove gray, yes. And talking mm -hmm. about dove, look at those birds in the middle. Oh, aren't they pretty? This pendant the will be beautiful uh, with that. Isn't that gorgeous? Uh, yes. Yeah. So with that blend, I made the bracelet that is in front of uh, Sherry using the flat spiral um, stitch. And, uh, and I used that blend plus the uh, Swarovski um, dove gray. Mm -hmm. And I think it looks beautiful together. That is so pretty. You get those little hints of that blue running mm -hmm. through there. And the, the silver that's the uh, silver bead that's in the mix is very warm. Right. And it just, oh, it's such a pretty combination. Right. That's beautiful. That's beautiful, yes. Then we have this gorgeous sort of um, marine blue blend. It has the deeper, dark ocean waters. And then True. it has the slightly um, lighter, a little bit aqua mm -hmm. um, flash, and then the real soft um, light color in there that is so pretty um, with these gorgeous um, turquoise shades. We have this really wonderful little owl, and it just makes that light color, I think, pop. Yes. Um, so pretty with the silver and the mm -hmm. antique silver. But here we have it with some murky, um, uh, antique Good. brass and I think that looks so pretty with it really warm it, yeah especially with the gorgeous copper color and that matte soft gold mm -hmm. so pretty and then again the gorgeous um, dove gray pearls brightens it yes so That's oh, true. really pretty combo mm -hmm. and up here we have this beautiful um, soft soft lavender mm -hmm. a little murky which I love um, that little bit of creamy, soft white in there and little flashes of pink. Um, yes. So it's so pretty with, the again, that pearl and, mm -hmm. um, and then the soft, soft lavenders and this gorgeous uh, dark amethyst. Oh, yes. so pretty with that. That would be really pretty, beautiful. yes. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Mm -hmm. And this one. Oh, so um, we have this almost... What is it? Almost a bronzy pink, right. la lavender yes. pink. That's just stunning. There's little flecks of darker, um, almost a little blue green. Right. Yes. And the little flecks of gold. Mm -hmm. um, so mixing it with these gorgeous soft golds is so pretty. And then the different shades of lavenders, right. just stunning. Yes. And is actually, I use that blend to do that pretty necklace this with the diamond one. duo. Yeah. And um, again, I, I picked up beads here and there, okay. and, and it's, yes, oh, it's really cute. So it goes pretty. really well with the gold. I really like oh, that. Oh, it does. And as you separated it out here, you see the color flex more. Yes. I love that. And using That's the gorgeous. same blend, I also did that oh. um, little piece there. This is beautiful. I'm not sure how I'm going to finish it yet. Not sure what to do with it. But I just um, love those beads and separated them and did that pattern. That's beautiful. Thank you. Okay, and then on the far side, we have this gorgeous, vivid blue yes. with pink. And um, I, it's just so striking. When mm -hmm. you see it, it just it just really stands out. And the idea behind that blend, I really wanted so to do uh, a blend that will match the uh, Majestic Blue um, 2AB mm -hmm. from Swarovski. And it does have a hint of uh, purple and pink, so that's why I, I choose those colors to go with that blue. And I made that necklace with the Majestic Blue um, to AB Bicon. Beautiful. And I think it goes really well together. That's gorgeous. Oh, thank you. And then the mm. two rings at the bottom, um, they are from the same blend too. So one that I separate the beads and the other one that I use okay. all the beads and together. And mix them up. Yes. 
Oh, so pretty. It's, it's a very mm -hmm. uh, fun blues, yes, and Isn't I love it? that little pink inside. I do too. Mm -hmm. It's just That's so nice. lively. It yes, just, it, it just is. It's, it's cheery and I love it. It is, yes. Oh, how fun, huh? Yes, and <laughs> one more thing um, that we didn't show is that bracelet, Sherry, oh, the blue one, one here um, that mm -hmm. I made with this really pretty uh, blend. Oh, so I'm going to show you how to make uh, that bracelet with um, this other blend here that I really like. So we made a little space here and we added this bead mat for you to uh, see better. And uh, so I'm using this really pretty blend. Love the colors. Isn't it so pretty? Now I'm seeing a little bit more of the purple in there. Uh -huh. Oh, I love it. I, I really do too. And then we have some uh, Super Duo here. And I'm using the 1G uh, beaded thread that has the same colors as the uh, Super Duo. Great color. And I have two needles, so I like to work mm. uh, with two needles, it's much faster. And as you can see here, I have the mini bead stoppers. I use them all the time when I do seed bead. So I have a little uh, trick is, um, I like to start with the bottom thread. So you have one thread on the top here and one on the bottom. Mm. So I start with the bottom one. So I just pick a bead and then a uh, super duo, another bead. It's better to do several in a Just row. A few. Okay. That will go faster. And um, let's do four, like that. And then I bring that down. And I put my needle aside. So then I'm going to bring all those super duo up to be able to uh, put the beads on the other side. So okay. I'm taking my needles that, um, that's uh, on top. And here I need one bead. And you can uh, use the same bead or, you know, same colors or another color. So I'm bringing this, should be closer to my beads here, maybe easier. And then, so I have one bead here. I go through my super duo, pick another bead, go through the other super duo, another bead, other super duo, and that's it. Look at that. And that goes really <laughs> fast. <laughs> that does go fast. <laughs> mm. So then I like to just poke Great my needles trick. and just uh, move that together. So I want to show you how to finish this. It's pretty easy too. I like to use a magnetist clasp. Mm -hmm. I use those a lot. And uh, you can use any thread. It doesn't matter for now. And what I like to do is do three bead. So I start with three beads like that, thread my clasp, and then take three more beads for the other side of the clasp. Nice. Like that. So you have okay. three and three on the side. Don't worry about that thread. That thread we're going to weave at the end. So now what I want to do is to going back in the uh, bead mm -hmm. to secure that uh, clasp. And of course, it's magnetic, so <laughs> my Stay needle needle. wants to stick. <laughs> so I'm going to go. It's going along for the ride. Yes. I'm going to go through that super duo, and then one bead, and then the next super duo. And because the thread matching the colors of the super duo, we won't see at all the thread that's going to be on the bottom of that super duo. So then, okay. so I, I came out from one side of the super duo. I'm going to go on the other side of the super duo. And then the next bead, super duo, and then the three beads, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm there. Pull my thread. And you want everything to be tight, so I'm, I'm pulling on my thread once in a while. That's why it's good to have the bead stopper, otherwise right. your bead's okay. going to slide. And then I'm going back inside the clasp, going inside those beads. And since I went um, at the bottom of that super duo, the second one, I'm going to go through the third one. Like that, uh, we don't see too much okay. thread. Okay. And let's see. Am I catching my bead? Yes. Here is the other, other one. So I tight everything, and then I'm going back here. So now you could go again 
around those bits to secure um, a little more your class. But I'm going to stop here just to go faster. So what I like to do then, you need to weave your thread. So I'm going to go through that. Um, uh, so I went through the super duo, one seed bead, another super duo. And I'm just going to weave my thread through those beads. So then I'm going to go down again. You won't see the, the thread because the color match very well. And what I like to do is even going further down and kind of repeat the same process. And then you should be okay. So I went down there. Oh, you know what? I missed one bead. So that's one thing to be careful. I missed one bead here. So I need to go back. So I'm not going to go back, mm -hmm. but um, I'm going to you know, you should go back and then you can cut your thread and then you have the bottom thread here so what I like to do and it was up that uh, super duo sometimes I just go back if you have enough space on that bead mm -hmm. just go back through the beads your um, clasp will be very secure because you go through that right. yeah it's good to go through time. the clasp a few times yes right. Especially when it's a bracelet, we tend mm -hmm. to pull on the bracelet when we put it on or when we uh, take it off. And I do the same process. I keep going through my beads. I'm going to stop at the first one here. And then going back for the beads again. And I can feel now that there's a lot of thread in there. Sure. It's getting okay. uh, stiffer, so I don't want to go too many times in those beads on uh, near my clasp. And then going down. So I want this time to go further down. So make sure that you grab all the beads. That was uh, a mistake. So let's do little by little then. And not do too many. So you, you keep weaving like I did on the first one. And here, let's go down again. Oops. Yeah, my needle wants to mm -hmm. uh, get stuck with the magnetist class. Okay. Like that. So I'm going through those beads, through those beads, another one. And you can go, uh, I mean, if you have a long thread, you can really go down to the middle of the bracelet, for example. Mm -hmm. And that's secure a little that more all your beads. Right. Because you're going back Just inside. To strengthen the whole bracelet. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you keep going, keep going, and then you go on the other side and come back and go on the other side. So you're kind of, you know, making sure Looking that you thread. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Mm, so, so then you, you do the same on the other side. What I like to do is taking my... Um, my net is clasped apart and do the other side like that. Perfect. And that's it. And remember to tie it once in a while. And that's easy. So pretty. <laughs> There's a whole stack of those would be nice. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> and I actually already have, I think, four like that that oh, I made nice. with previous blends. Yes. And I thought, I love those yeah. those bracelets. Uh, yeah. Easy enough. Yes. And doing with two needles, it goes really fast. Good. Okay. <laughs> Let's play, right, Sherry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Sherry, yeah, for coming thank today. You. That was fun to watch. Yes, and thank you so much for joining us today on Arby's Cafe. Uh, remember to sign up our email newsletter to see our great promotion, our ideas, and more of our CB blend. So, thank you so much. Merci beaucoup. Au revoir. À bientôt. Bye bye.